Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel and welcome to this live video. In today's video, as you saw in the title, I'm going to be giving you my reaction, my first impressions, my thoughts, if you will, on the new Natasha Denona Yuka palette, which was leaked once again. Natasha Denona palettes always get leaked, but this was posted on a website yesterday, so I feel safe talking about it. And then it's Memorial Day weekend. There have been a thousand and one different sales, not quite, announced this weekend. And I was posting a few over on my community page to like let you know about them in case you're interested in stocking up on some of your products. But I figured since I wanted to talk about the Natasha Denona palette and I also figured that wouldn't be a very long video, I should just do a live chat with you. I always say I want to do lives more often and it is true I enjoy talking to you so very much and so I wanted to chat with you today and just talk about all of these things that I just mentioned thank you for the 31 likes you've already given me and there is over 100 of you watching already um so thank you so much let me look at this chat and say hi to everyone I don't have any moderators today so bear with me <laughs> um hi Alicia and Bambi um, Sami Ko, um, Rainy, Tone, Vivian, Stefania, Jilly. Hi, girl. Jilly always leaves comments in all of my videos, so I recognize that name. Um, T.A. Summers. Hey, Maggie. Um, let's see. Melted Butter Princess. Hello, girl. Marta, Michelle, Debbie. Debbie is always commenting as well. Veronica. Michelle Romani, hi, 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 hi. Hello from Germany. Hi, how are you? Hi, Linda. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has joined me so far. So, hello, my diva on a budget. How are you doing? Okay, so I have been getting pictures sent to me um, on Instagram of this Yuka palette from Natasha Denona for the past, I want to say, three to four days before it was officially leaked on that Irish website and first it was just a picture of like the stand like an end cap at a store or something um, and then um, I got the picture of a palette that had like some dents in it like someone had been swatching it but that one looked very very dark and then um, finally it launched we'll say on that irish website and which the name is over here i left it flannels i tried to buy it if you see that the card has one item it's because i tried to buy it but it only ships to europe i think <laughs> um so finally when um it launched and i'm putting launch in quotations because i don't think it's there anymore i think they took it down at flannels i was able to get a better picture of what this palette looks like and first of all i'm very happy that it is a midi palette it is natasha denona's 65 dollar palettes or 68 now which are my favorite size that she makes so every time she launches a new one i'm excited that it is that size at that price point and then the first thing i immediately paid attention to the first thing that i was super super into is the fact that this palette doesn't look like it has boring shimmers in it this palette has beautiful looking metallic looking shimmers which i am super pumped about if you guys have followed me for a long time, you know that whenever um, I review the Natasha Denona Midi palettes, I usually love them because she has an amazing formula. Her mattes are incredible. Her shimmers are good too, but I prefer sparkly shimmers. Like, can you see? I prefer the shimmers that have a bit of sparkle in them, a bit of shine that are fun, that are attention grabbing, that catch the light. And so when Natasha does her midi palettes and puts mostly, if not all, like regular, more dull looking shimmers in her palettes, I like them, but I always want a little more. It always leaves me wanting a little more. And so I'm super excited that this new yuca palette which by the way does anybody know what the name of the palette means because yuca with one c in spanish is like a food <laughs> but i wonder what yuca means to natasha <laughs> um so i'm very excited that this yuca palette from natasha denona has metallic 
looking sparkles in there. Okay, besides that, the um, second thing, hey, Kath in England, <laughs> the second thing I immediately noticed is that this palette looks very, very fall, right? Um, and when she, like back in the fall, she released a spring looking palette. Now, I think Natasha is European and they have our same seasons, but she seems to be releasing palettes, you know, not caring about what season it is, which like is fine. And I know that like in Australia, I think maybe it's fall now. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure how the seasons work. I feel dumb. <laughs> but I know that in other parts of the world, it's not about to be summer. <laughs> um, so maybe it is appropriate for those parts. This palette looks extremely, extremely full to me, which I am not mad about. It's a bit out of like what I'm going for this past, or a bit out of what I've been going for, I should say, these past couple of months, because here, it is spring, it is about to be summer. And so I've been into like the light pastel shades, the bit of color, like light color on the eye, sort of like the vibes that I have on my eyes today. This is what I've been going for. And so this very fall looking palette coming out hopefully soon, we don't have a release date yet, um, throws me off a little bit. With that said, come like August probably, this is totally going to be the vibe. <laughs> and so I am very excited to add this palette to my collection. I am of course going to buy it as soon as I can get my hands on it. I'm sorry I can't keep up with um, all of the comments by the way. Um, Car just said, I just assumed it was the English spelling of Yuga, but maybe more of the original plan and then there's like a what kind of plant is that like um i i only know the name in spanish <laughs> um i assume it's like yucatan and to take on our world slash place okay maybe it could be like the yucatan and linda says yes it is fall in australia that's what i thought so may i feel a little less dumb thank you so much linda <laughs> Um, I lost track of what I was saying, but basically very full palette come August. I feel like I'm going to be all about this one. Of course, I'll try this palette as soon as it releases. I cannot wait to swatch it. I cannot wait to play with it. And it reminds me a little bit without the orangey shades, but like the green mustardy vibes remind me, reminded me a little bit of some of the shades in this palette here. So I pulled it out so we can kind of compare it side by side like um let's see this shade right here maybe sort of looks like one of the shades in that palette um the green as well uh, well there is a green that kind of looks like this one but i'm not but and it is also like a shimmery looking green and there's also one that kind of looks like that one and it is a matte shade as well so this palette kind of reminded me, or this new palette reminded me a little bit of the Metropolis palette from Natasha Denona, which is one of my favorites, by the way. And it is one of her more expensive palettes that maybe not a lot of people want to buy. So I pulled this one out and I'll be comparing them um, as soon as I can get my hands on this new Yuka palette. Somebody said it reminded them of the Trio Chrome palette. So I pulled this one out as well to kind of put on the screen and look at it. Maybe like the green shades, although this one looks a little bit less mustardy, a little bit less um, fall, right? Um, but maybe these greens are kind of similar, vibey-ish. Um, I think that is it. Maybe that shimmer green. Uh, there's a yellow in here too, but I don't think it's like the yellows in the Yucca palette. Anyways, I wanted to pull it out just to kind of put them side by side on the screen and compare. And then I also pulled out my gold palette <laughs> just to see maybe like the more neutral shades and the golds. I, I want to definitely compare whatever like shimmer formula is in the Yucca palette with the shimmer formulas of the gold palette. Although I don't think it's going to be like these shimmers, I think it's more so going to be like the shimmers in 
um, the face and eyes palettes. I feel like the shimmers that this new palette is going to have in it, they look very metallic. So I feel like it probably is going to be sort of like the formula of this one or that one, or at least that's what I'm hoping for, right? Because I love those types of shimmers. Very excited that this palette is a bit colorful and a bit nude. So it has a little bit for everyone in there as well. So anyways, I brought swatches. I don't just have this picture. Let's see. You can see the shades right here on three different skin tones. And by just kind of browsing at the names of the shades, I think that they probably are all new shades. I don't, none of those names rings a bell for me. Willow, maybe Willow, but the rest of the names don't, don't ring a bell for me. So I think it is an all new shades type of palette and you can see how beautiful and shiny the shadows look. By the way, thank you to everyone who's given the video a thumbs up already. If you haven't given a thumbs up yet, please give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. I really appreciate it. So yeah, I'm very excited about this Yuka palette. Let me know in the comments if you know of any release dates. Um, I know that it definitely was not supposed to release on the flannels um, website because they took it down since the, they leaked the picture. Um, but I have no idea when it's supposed to release. And I really, really hope that it is releasing soon because um, I don't want it to be like the Love palette when it first, like the Love Face and Eyes palette, I feel like it got leaked a lot sooner than it actually got released. And so by the time it got released, I was like, not super excited about it. I ended up reviewing it anyways, and I do really like it, but I just want it to be want something that is like coming soon so that we can all get our hands on it as soon as possible since we've already seen it, you know? And the excitement is definitely there. <laughs> Um, let's see. By the way, if you missed me posting this on my Instagram last night, if you have Instagram and you want to follow me over there, my Instagram username is this one right here is at Patty C Alonso, the way it's spelled right there. And I invite you to follow me on Instagram because whenever something gets leaked or released or anything like that, I will be sure to post it on my stories um, and chat with you guys um, in my DMs. It definitely is one of my favorite things to do. And I love that a few of you have sent me pictures of palettes that leaked and all of that. If any of you who sent me pictures is watching, thank you. <laughs> Steph, Gla Steph Gless says yuca for Hispanics is a type of potato. And that's the yuca that I know of as well, the food, um, which is not a, it's like a different type of root. Um, but I think our yuca is spelled with one C, not two. Um, anyways, if you are watching and you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please don't leave without subscribing. It'd be really, really appreciated. And I changed my settings so that you can only comment in the chat if you're subscribed. <laughs> um, so if you can't comment, that is why. You gotta subscribe and then comment. Okay, um, the palette looks like an update of Metropolis. I agree with that. Um, just turning in and I'm freaking out about this image. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I am late with the comments. Oh my God. Yes. I need this. <laughs> I thought my comments had stopped coming in and it's just that I fell behind. Hi in Portugal. How are you? Anyways, I have more images to share with you guys. I have not finished. I have some eye looks. Thank you so much whoever sent me these pictures because these are high quality pictures right here. Look at the eye looks that Natasha created for the promo of this palette. Look at that sparkly gold in the center of the eyelid. This is totally a look that I would, I would do this look. The mustardy crease transition shade type of color with the olive green on the outer corner and the gold in the center. That is such a me look me i mean it's natasha's but i do looks like that all the time and i love them and there's like a mustard eyeliner in the waterline that i see between her lashes it looks so freaking pretty 
I cannot wait, cannot wait for this palette to come out. Okay, let's see. Let's look up more pictures. <gasps> look at this one. That lime green shade on the inner corners that is matte. It looks so freaking beautiful. The promo pictures for the release of this palette are on point. Also, that nude lipstick she has on, incredible. It looks juicy and Natasha's lip liners are simply, simply the best. I cannot wait. I feel like I need to recreate that look and on my channel or on my face <laughs> at some point because that lime green inner corner moment is absolutely everything. I love it. And then we have this one here, which is beautiful, a bit more on the natural side, less smoky with the beautiful mustard shade on the crease. Also love it, her lip look. I feel like we're matching. Our lips look the same. <laughs> I love it. That is totally a lip look that I would wear. I think there is a yucca in an ugly pod in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Lime green sold. <laughs> I love it. All righty. Um, I don't own any of her lip products. Girl. Girl, you need the lip liners. The lip liners are everything. I am obsessed in love. Cannot get enough of Natasha Denona lip liners. They are the softest, most pigmented, longest wearing lip liners ever. You can wear them as a lip liner or you can just like blend them in and like diffuse them real nicely and put a gloss on top. That's my favorite way to do it. And they last for so long and they look so, so good. Um, I'm not wearing a Natasha Denona lip product today, actually. I'm wearing the Anastasia, no. I'm wearing the ABH lip liner in the shade Nearly, no, Muted Mauve, which has been my go-to lately. I love this lip liner. And then I'm wearing the Pat McGrath lip gloss in the shade Prima Donna because I thought it would match my eye look and it does, it is so pretty. I know I'm getting sad, I'm, I know I'm getting sidetracked over here, but honestly, I just wanted to talk to you today. <laughs> um, your eyes are amazing, what palette? Hi from England, hey! So the description box of this video has some links to some sales that I'll talk about later, and then it also has what I'm wearing, but I have to fix that later because I didn't know what I was going to wear when I made the description box. So on my eyes today, I have From Odin's Eye. Hold on. Natasha, we'll get back to you. From Odin's Eye, I have the Jewels and Gem palette. And I combined some matte shades from this one. I combined this shade with that shade, I put it on my crease and then I combined this shade with that shade to deepen up things a little more. And I put that combination on the outer corner of the eye. Then, I'm sorry, I combined palettes today. Um, I got my Seahorse palette here from Miss Adept Cosmetics. And from this palette, I played with these two shades. So I put this shade right here in the center of my eyelid, and then I put this shade right here on the inner third of my eyelid. Um, so those are the sparkly shades that I'm wearing today, and I love them. And then I went back to this palette here, and this is the shade that I'm wearing in the innermost corner of the eye. So that right there is the eye combo. Thank you so much, Maria, for the super sticker baby lemon with pom-poms in his hands cheerleading yes i'm sorry i read that that's lame <laughs> but um i can't see the image on my side of the screen by the way whenever i finish doing live videos i always go back and re-watch the whole thing so that i can see what you guys are talking about because i can't read every comment while i'm live but i want to go back and read every comment hey ingrid in france how are you okay so um, Stefania says, oh my god, I'm already eagerly waiting for the five looks one palette you're going to create with this Natasha Denona palette. And girl, yes, we'll be definitely doing a five looks one palette with the Natasha Denona palette. 
I myself simply cannot wait. I cannot wait to play with these shades. They are so, so good. And thank you, by the way, for bringing me back to the main topic of this video. <laughs> Let's keep looking at the images. I have more. This one. Oh, I love, love, love the light yellow shade on the inner corner of her, of her eye and the way it pops on the outside here. See, I'm not skilled enough, I don't think, to do eye looks like this one. Maybe I can try and recreate it, but I feel like there's like so many different colors kind of peeking through like behind her orangey crease color there's there's like a yellow and then it becomes green it looks spectacularly beautiful and i love how it matches that mesh thing she's wearing on her on her hand so so pretty and of course all of these models have like the most perfect buttery beautiful skin love it also love her lip combo that she's wearing she looks like she's wearing the natasha the nona my dream like lip duo the lip liner with the gloss or maybe even the lipstick in the shade natasha it looks incredible okay when is it coming that is the million dollar question because this was leaked on an european website and so they took it down by the way since and so um we don't know when it's coming we just don't know Okay, so let's see. Thank you so much for the sweet, sweet comments you guys are leaving me. I have one last picture from this release and it's this one here, which looks also incredible. I absolutely love. Thank you, Maria, for the super chat. Wow, <laughs> thank you. Um, so this one also looks incredible. Keep it, keep, um, I'm distracted. Um, take a look at how this is an all matte eyeshadow look. So she, we have a little mustard shade in the inner corner, little brown smoky eye, and then like a smoked out winged um, eyeliner in like the green shade. It looks so freaking stunning. Love, love, love this eye look as well. And that model is so gorgeous. Okay, so... That is the Natasha Denona palette. Um, I feel like I talked about everything that I had on my notes about it. I'm excited that you guys are excited for this palette. Like I said, it has a lot of fall vibes and I really hope that it isn't like too soon and that it's going to come out near fall because that is like three months, four months from now still. So I really hope that's oh okay sorry so jennifer said that charlotte holcroft my beautiful beautiful friend purchased it when it was on the irish website so that is going to be an awesome review i love charlotte if you guys are not subscribed to charlotte holcroft please go to her channel and subscribe you guys are going to love her videos she is hilarious um and she got her hands on this palette early, so she's going to have that review up very soon. I just know it. Um, and she is going to create some stunning looks with it. Plus, I feel like Charlotte has the perfect skin tone for this palette, too. She has this, like, um, neutral to warm, I think, want to say. Yeah, she has, like, a neutral to warm mid-tone complexion that is going to be amazing for this palette's color story. I just know it. Okay. Maria says she didn't like most of the eye looks. I guess you have to wait for my five looks one palette. See if you like any of those. <laughs> Alrighty. So, let's see, Debbie says Charlotte is amazing. You guys go subscribe to Charlotte's channel so you can get the, an early video on this eyeshadow palette release and tell her I sent you. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so let's talk about some sales that are going on right now. I have listed in the description box of this video down below um, a whole bunch of different sales that are happening for Memorial Day weekend. And since I want to talk to you guys today um, and chat with you and whatnot, I figured we would go through them together and see if we find any like hidden treasures that we want to get. I did... Um, already spot a couple of sales that are having some really exciting things in there. Jesus, hi my friend 
first time making it to your live. Your eyes are addictive. Thank you. <laughs> All righty. And Jilly says, I think Natasha Tanana leaks are feeling intentional. I don't get it as a marketing technique. I don't get it either, which is why I'm not sure that it would be intentional. Because I personally think that the leak of the Love Face and Eyes palette hurt that launch more than it could have possibly helped it, honestly. Okay, so let me become little right here in a corner. How do I do this? Screen share, yes. And then hold on, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Here I am. <laughs> okay, so I have some websites pulled up here. First of all, we're gonna talk about Pat McGrath because we have to. Pat McGrath is having another sale and I know we are probably, just wanted to make sure I'm there. I know we're probably bored, sick and tired of Pat McGrath sales and she does them like every month at this point and I think they're great, to be honest with you, because um, you can count on always getting your Pat McGrath products discounted nowadays. If you run out of, if you're like going low on your Pat McGrath foundation, if you need a bit more of her concealer or her under eye powder, anything you need from Pat McGrath, you can always get it on a discount, especially if it's not like a brand new item. So Pat McGrath is having a 25% side white sale going on right now. And it does not apply. Thank you so much for the super chat. It doesn't apply to like her new releases. Like these stuff that you're looking at in the screen here, not included. The bronzers are not included. The beautiful Venetian Sunrise Quad, not included. But a lot of other things are included in this sale. You can get any of her mothership palettes with a discount. You can get um, a lot of her past releases like the Love Collection palettes, which I really, really love. You can get with a 25% off discount. So if there's anything that like I've reviewed here on my channel that you have had your eye on for a while, this might just be the time to get your hands on that product. And remember to shop using the links down below. That definitely helps me out. So the most exciting thing happening right now on the Pat McGrath website, though, it's not her 30% off, by the way. So you can get 25% off purchases under 125. And if you spend more than 125, you get 30% off of your entire purchase. I wasn't sure because sometimes she'll do 20 and 25 and this time and the past couple of times it's been um, 25 and 30. By the way, I have this collection. We're, we'll talk about this collection on Wednesday. So I'm going to skip on my thoughts on that one today. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the exclusive offers here because this is what I truly wanted to talk to you guys about in regards to the Pat McGrath sale that is happening. The Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana palette that she came out with during the holiday season is $41 right now. And I have to say that is an absolute steal and also a beautiful, beautiful palette. If you watch my holiday videos, I reviewed this one during the holiday season and this palette is addictive, it is beautiful, and it's also kind of perfect to grab it now with a discount because it is the season, I feel like, to wear colorful eyeshadow looks like the ones that you can get with this palette. I love the shimmers that are in here. They're not like special shades from Pat McGrath or anything like that, but they are very pigmented, shimmery shades. That is one thing that Pat McGrath will never ever hopefully disappoint us with is special shimmer shades. Even if the shimmer shades are not Astro Blitz shades, she brings her A-game with the shimmers. Plus, I also really love Pat McGrath mattes. They are pigmented, they are blendable. You can really pack a punch with them. And this palette is incredible. So for $41, I think it's an absolute steal. If anyone is a... <laughs> um, Darth Vader, I was gonna say, but I mean to say... Um, Star Wars fan. If anyone is a Star Wars fan, the Star Wars collection pretty much is all on sale right now. Um, so you can get that palette 
the $128 palette that caused a scandal for $68 right now, $64 right now, which is even cheaper than the Mothership palette without the sticker was before this collection came out. And another favorite thing I would totally recommend getting on this sale is the um, Dark Star Mascara. That mascara is my absolute favorite. I'm going to um, move the screen a little bit so I can see some of your guys' comments. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so the Dark Star Mascara is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. In fact, I'm thinking I should probably <laughs> restock on it because for $16, which is half off, it is an absolute steal. Um, please tell me what you can about the five pans I am interested. Okay, so I would stay away from this one here, the um, um, Sith Seduction five pan palette. I did not like at all. It was my least favorite out of the whole collection. Do not recommend. Um, so don't get that one. But I do like this one here, Celestial Nirvana. That one is a good five pan palette. It's like not my favorite things that Pat McGrath has ever come out with. But for $18, yes, it is an absolute steal and you should absolutely grab it. Um, with this palette, you can create some really nice, fun, natural looks and the shimmers are really good in that one. So that's the one I would recommend. I would not do the Sith Seduction palette from Pat because I, just, I, I didn't think it was good. The shimmer shadows would crumble. The formula was inconsistent. Mm -mm, I wouldn't do it. Um, what I would do, oh my God, $16 the um under eye powder for $16 are you freaking kidding me yes if you need an amazing amazing under eye setting powder this has been my favorite under eye setting powder for literally years now for $16 definitely grab it Ooh, I love those colored mascaras maybe I should get another one of those myself um because for $16 also a steal let's see um think from what is in the exclusive offers page um, which is where the best deals are those are the things that I would recommend the most for sure um, you should do more lives they're very effective this is my first and I liked it before but I love <laughs> well thank you so much car I appreciate it Ooh, Maggie got her hands on the Yuka palette and it's already on her way to her. Congratulations, girl. Yes. <laughs> um, all righty. Let's see. Hey, Julie. Welcome. Um, so Ulta, if you are in the US, Ulta is having a makeup sale. This page is kind of silly. Ulta has absolutely everything on their website. Um, you can get Natasha Denona. You can get chanel now hourglass they have an incredible luxury section they have some beautiful beautiful high-end products as well and um ota is having a 15 percent off sale um let me go to the main page so that you guys can see it here you go 50 percent olive makeup with the code makeup 15 at checkout so if you've had your eye on anything it's not like a huge discount but it is off of everything it's not selected products um so definitely check out the makeup sale at ulta if there's anything that you've been interested in trying stephanie says she is in love with the dark star mascara i get it because same <laughs> the only fault is that it sometimes can um transfer on me a little bit if it's like very very humid out but most days just completely flawless on my skin Okay, let's see. So Ulta, 15% off sale. I'm not going to look for things on there because it's everything. But Sephora is having a Memorial Day sale as well. And I did find some beautiful, beautiful gems on the Sephora website. So let me start scrolling. Please stay away from the C Power Flex Full Coverage Vegan Concealer from Tarte. No, don't do it. I don't recommend that one. <laughs> Um, but let's scroll down. Um, this right here from Pat McGrath, the Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shine. 
love 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 those lip balms from pat mcgrath so that i definitely do recommend um there is some fun things on there okay this right here the c hydroflex serum foundation from tarte i love that it's like a skin tint type product i think it has a little bit of spf it's super super thin on the face in my opinion very hydrating it wears beautifully all day it is super breathable very thin on the skin it was one of my favorite foundations for the longest time i just never restocked on it i fully finished it and never got it again um maybe for 19 dollars i should <laughs> but i have so many foundations i want to get through um i don't want to be wasteful you know it is a beautiful, beautiful skin tint. For $19, you can no go wrong with that one at all. It is so amazing. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. This lip, um, lip fetish sheer color bomb from Pat. I haven't tried the clear one. I prefer the one I mentioned before, for sure. Um, the shade that is my favorite is the shade Nude Venus. Um, this I thought was interesting. For $19, you can get three Fenty lip glosses. I think that is definitely an absolute steal and that you should take advantage of that if you if you like the Fenty lip glosses, of course. I know some people are obsessed with them, use them every day. If that's you, great opportunity to get your hands on the Fenty lip glosses. And of course, you are welcome to check the link I left you down in the description box. It'll take you straight to the website on the screen right now and that is everything that is on a very um discounted sale at sephora right now now let me show you a couple of gems that i found that i swear by and highly recommend first of all since we got here um scrolling the love cheek dual palette from natasha denona this product and i definitely had a moment i was obsessed with that highlighter it has the perfect undertone to just make my skin look like it's wet, almost like it just has the most perfect reflection um, and the most beautiful, beautiful undertone. I loved it. And that blush is also really, really nice. The other products I found on the Sephora website that are <laughs> a steal um, are these right here. So Huda Beauty, the Matte Obsessions palettes. I don't know why this is already super discounted because this released like maybe a month and a half to two months ago at the beginning of the year. At the, I don't know. When was it that it released? Maybe two months ago. It released very recently is my point. They are all matte palettes from Huda Beauty. The medium one for deeper complexions I would totally recommend. But my personal favorite was definitely the Cool Matte Obsessions. Excuse me. <coughs> That palette is incredible. Definitely check out the video um, where I talked about these if you need a push to grab them because I created some really stunning looks with both of these palettes. If you are into matte eyeshadows to like use on a daily basis, run, don't walk, you know? I love the formulas of these. This is the best matte formula that Huda Beauty has ever released in any of her palettes. I can promise you that right now. The shades are super buttery, super pigmented. They blend like an absolute dream. Truly not enough things I could say about this um, little Obsessions palette right here from Huda. I loved it. So I cannot believe that it's half off at Sephora right now. Recommended is an understatement. Absolutely love these. Okay. Also, this is not quite as discounted, but it is Pat McGrath and I love it. <laughs> um, so $24.65. Uh, actually, no. Because you can get this on the Pat McGrath website for 25% off. I don't know what the percentage discount is here at Sephora, but I would say compare your options don't go for the Sephora one straight away because you might be able to get a better deal off of the Pat McGrath website. Excuse me. I pulled it out just in case because um, it's Pat McGrath and I loved it and I saw it on sale at Sephora so I had to show you. This is as Patty made me try Pat McGrath last year and now she's got me to purchase more eyeshadow. Damn it. <laughs> 
I am so sorry. Not. <laughs> okay. So let's keep going. I'm done with Sephora. You are free to like browse. They have a bunch of things on their sale. Oh, there was also, let me see if I click on this one and it comes up. No, there was one of these um, palettes from Natasha Denona, also half off. That is my favorite and it is the mini star palette. Let me just put it here. Mini star. <clears throat> Why does that come up? I want the mini star. I wonder if it's um, sold out already. No, here it is. Mini star palette from Natasha. Oh, it's already sold out. Just kidding. That's why it wasn't coming up. $17.50 was a steal for that one. That palette is incredible. It is the deepest little travel palette. You can do super natural everyday looks with it or you can like sparkle it up and do some fun evening looks with it as well. Really love it. So yeah. Okay, done with Sephora. Let's move on to Derm Store. I have not shopped much myself on this website before, but I did see that they have some really nice skincare products on sale. Um, Elta MD, you can get for 20% off on this website right now. I have heard nothing but incredible, incredible things about the Elta MD sunscreen. I am very, very um intrigued about it and I think I might want to try it myself um because I have heard nothing but amazing things about it so for 20% off why not if any of you have tried Ulta MD let us know in the comment section because like I said nothing but amazing things about um their sunscreens is what I have heard Maria <laughs> Um, by the way, thank you guys for sharing um, some deals in the comments as well. Okay, Revive the Lash for 20% off if you are into lash growth serums. I know that everyone was obsessed with Revive the Lash back when I worked at Nordstrom. Um, we had a few, a couple times a year, we had Revive the Lash sales and people would go crazy. So Revive the Lash, 20% off. Also there if you need a restock on your lash growth serum or if you have wanted to try a good lash growth serum i have heard amazing things about this one i wish i could tell you from experience but i'm honestly just too lazy myself to use lash growth serums <laughs> i just i can't add another step to my nighttime routine um okay let's keep going agustin bader which i have heard good things about i never tried it you can oh never mind that's just double points nobody cares um let's go back <laughs> Sunday Riley, 20% off, always a steal. If you deal with any kind of acne, the green serum from Sunday Riley, well, I forgot the name of it right now. That is the most incredible thing for pimple maintenance. Like you just use that every other day or so and you'll never have a pimple in your life. And then 15% off of Paula's Choice, which is not bad, but Paula's Choice usually has better on their website. Um, I honestly didn't do a deep dive on this one, but I guess if the best offers are what they have on the outside there, then that's it, right? I think the best thing on there is definitely um, the Sunday Riley stuff and the Elta MD sale. Okay, moving on. Revolve is having a sale as well. I believe it's 25%. Why am I guessing? I have it written down right here. Hold on. Revolve, just kidding, 20% and the code is BEAUTY20. So BEAUTY20 on the Revolve website and a bunch of things apply. So definitely check out that one as well. They have Kopari, they have Dr. Dennis Gross, Briogeo, um, Pixie, which I think is kind of random. <laughs> um, a bunch of really good products. I am obsessed, by the way, with this product on the screen, Osha, their body oil. I've never, ever, ever tried a better body oil than the Osha body oil. It makes your skin feel like absolute butter. It is incredible. It's not heavy. It sinks right in. It smells so good. Um, so highly recommend that one. And was it on Revolve that I saw it? I think it was. Hold on. Let me go back and I think it was on the main screen. This is not a, I'm about to tell you about something that is not even on sale, but 
you guys need to um, know about it. Hold on. Yes, look at it right there. Okay, I was looking at it because I was like, wait a minute. What is this doing here? So if you guys know about this product, the Nudegasm face palette from Charlotte Tilbury has been sold out on Sephora and on the Charlotte Tilbury website for probably over a year now. And I saw this on Revolve when I was looking at the sale products. The sale does not apply to it. I tried. <laughs> um, however, however, if you are a huge um, fan of this palette like I am, I am obsessed with the Nude Gasm palette from Charlotte Tilbury. If you, like me, love this palette with a passion because it has the best bronzers ever created. I don't talk about it often on my channel. I don't talk about it on my channel anymore because you can't buy it, right? But it is an incredible, incredible face palette. The best face palette Charlotte Tilbury has ever released in my personal humble opinion. And you can get it from the Revolve website right now. Unfortunately, without a discount, but that would definitely be too good to be true. Um, so highly recommend that. I love this palette so much because it gives me the best bronze and you can layer the two different bronzer shades to create the most beautiful, natural, sculpted look ever. So highly, highly recommended. You guys are talking about Osha. Osha definitely smells like a spa. It is so freaking good. Anyways, so unfortunately, this is not a discounted thing, but I was just so surprised that this palette is in stock at Revolve that I had to tell you about it because it is incredible. Okay, let me keep going. <laughs> Skin store. I do have um, a thing of like suggested products with this one. So Skin store is having, I believe it is a 20% off or 20% off sale um, of selected products, but then you can add an extra 10% on top with the code extra 10. And let me, hold on, hold on. Let me make myself big on the screen real quick so that I can show you guys the image that I made yesterday. So this was something that I posted on my community page yesterday and I did a little collage of everything that I saw on the skin store website that was interesting. It is up to 50% off, so I am totally lying to you. Bunch of <laughs> numbers jumbled in my head. So you can get up to 50% off with um, the sale that they're having depends on the item that you're getting, of course. And then um, they have brands like Elements for skincare. The Nest Candles have a really nice deal on there. Um, Ellis Brooklyn, Brooklyn Fragrances. Um, they have the By Terry Foundation, the Cogendo Foundation. They have Estee Lauder. Really amazing sale. A bunch of products that are super popular. So definitely check it out. Up to 50% off and then you can have an additional extra 10% off with the code extra 10. So, yep, I love that one. Oh, the Juliet has a gone fragrance as well. I love that one as well. These are kind of like all the products that piqued my interest um, from when I was looking at this sale yesterday because I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> Under eye powder is gone. No, I'm so sorry that the undry powder is gone from Pat McGrath. Okay, let me see what else I had to share with you. <gasps> no, I closed it. Okay, hold on. It was Vegamore. Give me one second. I know you're not looking at the screen right now, but I basically closed my screen that I had with all of the different tabs. <laughs> um, damn it and violet gray. Okay, it was just two websites that we had left. So let me share my screen with you one more time. Hopefully I'm not boring you, boring you guys out of your mind. Thank you for staying here. Oh my God, okay, I'm figuring this out. Screen share, there we go, and I am back. <laughs> Okay, so Vegamore, um, 
I have not tried this product, but they have 25% off on their website right now, which I thought was good because these are some hyped up um, hair care products. I have heard everyone and their mother talking about this. Um, they have hair growth serums and they have some gr hair growth shampoos and conditioners. The sale they're having seems to be really, really good. Um, they have bundles where you can save a whole bunch of money and then I think you can get an extra 25% off of their website. I am half inclined to grabbing a couple of these products myself. Um, Strange Loving said arrived late for the 50% off. So the 50% off is on Pat McGrath. If you stay for a couple minutes, I will touch back on that um, for those of you who weren't here before. So Vegamore, if you are interested in their hair products, is having a really awesome sale. Like I said, I'm kind of intrigued myself about it. I want to try it. If you've tried this brand before and you have some suggestions for me on what products to go for, let me know. Um, and also let me know if it works like they claim. Because like I said, I have heard a bunch of people talking about it, but I don't know how long they've used the products for. So I don't know if I should trust them or if it's just like hype, you know? <laughs> um, okay, last sale I wanted to touch on was the spring savings um, sale from Violet Grey. If you guys have never heard of Violet Grey before, they have the bougiest skincare on their website. So don't be surprised at the prices, okay? This is bougie stuff right here, but the sale kind of looks okay. It looks at least to be 30% off of things, 25 to 30% off. So if you are into any of these products, you would definitely get a good deal on them. Agustin Bader, for example, we saw it on a different website and it was just like double points or something. And on the Violet Gray website, you can get the Agustin products with a 25 to to 30% off discount. Um, you guys saw that there was also a La Mer product up there. That's the Creme de La Mer. I'm sure they have different sizes. I cannot believe that thing is $2,600. That's crazy. That's that's definitely insane. Um, but they do have other sizes because I think that's like a huge, huge um, jar. So mainly I put this here for Augustine Bader products because I know a lot of people are obsessed. But look, Westman Atelier Contour Stick. I love the Westman Atelier Contour Stick. And you can get it for $38 rather than $48. So definitely a good deal on those. Um, they probably maybe might have more Westman Atelier products that you can get on sale as well. The highlighter stick, same type of price, same type of discount. So that might be another good one. Um, so yeah, this was, oh, the blush sticks. I love those too. So any sticks from Westman Atelier, definitely check them out with a discount on the Violet Grey website. And if you're into Augustine Bader skincare, check that out as well. Ooh, the highlighters. 60 yeah it's i mean it's it's a discount <laughs> okay so for those of you who arrived late and you're like what 50 percent off was patty talking about in the thumbnail so pat mcgrath is having a super amazing exclusive sale on her website where she is putting a lot of like um collaboration palettes limited edition palettes and things like that at a huge, huge discount. So the Mothership Mega um, Celestial Nirvana palette is definitely the one that piqued my interest the most because I love it. So it was $82 back in December and you can get it from Pat McGrath at $41 right now. She also has some of her pa um, five pan palettes on there that I absolutely love. I'm not going to go through everything again because I already talked about it, but this is the 50% off of Pat McGrath sale that I was talking about. The Dark Star Mascara, definitely a must-have for $16. It is an absolute steal. And then I was very sad to hear that this might be sold out. Yes. Okay, so it is the Light Translucent Powder is sold out. And then this one is not discounted, unfortunately. Damn it. This was definitely a steal. That's why it sold out for $16. And then if just for the packaging, because then if you want it, you still have to pay the $32 for it. <laughs> okay, now I am closing the, skin, um, the screen on purpose. Okay, 
Um, that is all I had for today's video. I don't know how long I've been live. 54 minutes already. Thank you so much to everyone who joined me today. I cannot believe you took time out of your Friday, out of your Friday to chat with me today. Um, you guys are incredible. Uh, let's see. Now that I've kind of gone through everything that I wanted to go through, I can tell you um, some things about me. I'm very, very, very excited about tomorrow because um, if you guys don't know, I am Ed Sharon's number one fan. <laughs> and Ed Sharon is playing in Atlanta tomorrow. I have had tickets for this concert for me, my husband, and one of my friends since October. The tickets went on sale in October. I was at 10 a.m. on Ticketmaster.com waiting for my special code to get my It Sharon tickets and I got them back in October and the concert is tomorrow and I cannot wait. I am super, super pumped. Like I said, I am It Sharon's number one fan and I cannot wait to the, um, go to that concert tomorrow. Adriana! Girl, you are late. <laughs> How much time did I miss? I've been live for 54 minutes. Of course, this live, by the way, is going to be posted on my YouTube channel. And you guys are going to be able to see all of the information that I was sharing at the beginning of the video on there. Um, so if you missed anything in like, like five minutes after I finish the live, you can see the video all the way from the beginning. Good to know they're good for hooded eyes, too. Well, you guys are having your separate conversations. I definitely want to try Singe. Is it Singe Beauty? Linda says, enjoy the concert. Thank you. I am so pumped. Um, I'm going to get there early because I went to an Ed Sheeran concert uh, before the pandemic um, a long time ago. And I went, I got, I, I planned to get there like an hour before the concert started and that was the worst nightmare. So my plan for tomorrow is my husband and I are going to leave the car at like a Marta tra um, train station. We're going to get Marta, which is the metro here in Atlanta, down to downtown. And then we're going to like go have lunch and stuff and just kind of chill like in the area um to then get into the concert because i cannot deal with what i dealt with last time so super pumped super excited i will take pictures and i will maybe post things on my instagram stories actually that is a for sure thing i'll be posting things on my instagram stories so if you have um so if you guys are not following me on instagram yet my instagram is at patty c alonso right here um check it out for just everyday life things and concerts and product leaks and all of that fun stuff it's definitely much easier just to pop a little quick video or picture up on my instagram stories than it is to come um and film a youtube video right um besides that um i had a video planned for tomorrow and it's not going to happen because i um things didn't go as planned. So I have been working on this video where I have been comparing my top four favorite foundations. So very Valentino, Guerlain, Latin foundation, of course, the Pat McGrath foundation and my Chanel number no. one foundation. I have other foundations I really love, but these are like my top four most loved formulas and also the formulas of all four of these foundations are very very similar to one another and so i was making a video where like every day i would put on a foundation on this side a foundation on this side and kind of decide which one was best to then come up with a winner and i was editing that video today and all i needed was to film an intro to the video right i had done the work it took me like three different days to get this video filmed <laughs> for if we counted the intro I needed to film today. And then when I was editing the video today, I realized that on day one, and to, in my defense, I had a huge migraine that day. So on day one, I mixed up the sides of my face where I had put the foundations. And so the rest of the video basically doesn't work. <laughs> um, very, very sad that I don't 
have a video for tomorrow, but I have to film all of it again. Actually, day two is, um, I'm going to save day two, but I have to film the rest of everything again, which is unfortunately, which is unfortunate. Um, I don't have foundations that smell and feel like paint. Do any of these, uh, no, okay, so none of these feel like paint because all of these are super thin formulas. That's my favorite type of formula. Um, so they don't feel like paint. However, I have heard complaints, not mine, not from me, about the terracotta latin foundation smelling strong. I don't agree. It doesn't smell like nothing. It smells like, like a soft little flower situation, but I don't think it stinks. And the smell of this one doesn't bother me at all. And this is the only one that I've heard, I think, complaints about. Um, the other three have super soft smells as well so i don't know because it's very subjective um what can smell strong for you or not or if like there is a specific note of a scent that you don't like in a product to me those smell fine if i can smell anything after it's blended on my face it completely goes away so in my opinion no okay CD Beauty is 30% off. Do you recommend their lip gloss? I've never tried CD Beauty or their lip glosses, so I'm not sure. Um, if any of you guys have tried CD Beauty, let her know. Okay, so that is all of my updates. No video tomorrow uh, because I effed up and um, I'm going to it churned. So yeah. I think that is all I have for you guys today. We've been live for an hour, so I will let you go back to your Friday. Thank you, thank you so much to everyone who joined. Um, I really appreciate you all. I hope that you liked this live video. I definitely really enjoyed chatting with you. And I'm going to go back now and just watch the whole thing so I can see all of your guys' comments <laughs> that I missed. Um, so thank you so much for watching and being live with me today. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please don't leave without subscribing. I love you guys so, so much. And I hope to see you back in the next video. So. Thank you for being here today. If you're going to shop any of these sales, please check the links down in the description box. And I am going for today. Bye.